Woo! Welcome back to the show. Uh, I think you're, you've probably seen my next guest. He's had a little television show for the last 20 years, uh, five days a week. His uh, main claim to fame, however, is that he's oft confused for Merv Griffin. Please welcome Phil Donahue. <laughs> Phil? We lost. Oh, you lost? Where's your Seattle hat? I uh, have a Mariner's hat, but I, I don't, uh, I didn't bring it tonight. Oh. <laughs> Phil, uh, Phil just came from a ball game. And, uh, and you lost the game? We did lose the game. Uh, mostly <laughs> because uh, I made most of the mistakes. We, it's a, <laughs> oh, no. Uh, no, it's a, it's a very good team. Oh yeah, and, uh, this is, you played on the on the King team. I did. I played. We play in the Rat League. Mm -hmm. Did you get up to bat? I did get up to bat. How'd you do? Actually, not too badly. Be better if somebody else told you though. <laughs> <laughs> How did he do? How did he do? He hit a home run. I did. Well. Oh, Phil, I was. I wish we had some kind of a some kind of a, tr a prize or a trophy or. A... Oh, I don't have any more room in my trophy room. For oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we can get you some, some crackers or licorice. Well, how are you? Welcome to Seattle. Thank you. Thank have, you. Have you been having a nice time? Well, certainly have. We've had uh, great audiences, and uh, it is true, somebody at the airport said, Hey, Merv! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. But other than that, I, you know, I'm carrying my ego under my arm and, we're, yeah. and walking around and having a... It, it is a nice place to come. It always has been for us. These audiences have always been great. I yeah. can't get to them fast enough. And yeah. it's a big, big trip for us to come here. Good, good. Now, we got to clear something up. You know, you're going to leave Seattle. And people, the only thing they're going to remember about Phil Donahue is that they read in the Seattle Times that he likes to sit at home or alone in his hotel room with a six-pack of Rainier. Well... <laughs> you remember? Did you see that in the paper? I, well, I did say that. I... I uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, people, you know, people knock me over to, you know, and then say, where's Marlo? And it's just very difficult for me. As yeah. you know, I have an enormous ego, and this is, I usually stand there whistling my theme song, you know, hoping somebody will. <laughs> uh, and uh, they want to know if she's here, which she isn't. She's working. Mm -hmm. As you know, we have to eat. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I just, I said, I'm sitting in my hotel room looking out over the sound, drinking a six-pack of Rainier beer. And it, <laughs> it gets a laugh and, of course, winds up in the newspaper. And, uh, That's right. And, then and that... I get free Rainier for the rest of the week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you mentioned Marlowe. You know, Danny Thomas is your dad. and uh, Or your father-in-law. Does he ever, you know, at family gatherings, does he ever play Uncle Tanoose just for a little while? <laughs> Uh, no, but we do have so a lot. He's got a lot of old war stories, and he is a, as you know, uh, he's 75 now and in great health and still working and raising a lot of money for St. Jude's Hospital. And he's also the place where all the comics come. And so I have this really wonderful, rare experience of sitting there at the table with uh, George Burns, Hilton oh. Burrow, Bob Newhart comes over, uh, Buddy Hackett, and it is something to watch these men. And, it, and they play to each other, they applaud each other, they laugh at uh, all the material. It's a very uh, unusual opportunity for me, and I had never really appreciated comedy until I married into this family. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is the most terrifying thing you can possibly do in your life. I, <laughs> uh, I mean, these, you know, all these guys came up from the street, and they know what it's like to play small rooms, play to empty tables, and they all hit it. They're, I think, comedy history, most of these people, and uh, I feel very privileged to be uh, that, see them up, up close like this. Well, now, you're a major personality. I'm sure when they're sitting around the table holding court, and they ever uh, they say, well, uh, Phil? <laughs> <laughs> they, they look to you, don't they look to you for stories, too? Is it, is well, it as, a, as a matter of fact, uh, <laughs> I have been known to be arrogant enough after a couple of Rainier beers to, uh, <laughs> uh, to tell... Uh, a couple of stories myself, but it, it's, it, I'm, I'm always glad when they're over, and by the time I get to the punchline, my tongue is kicking the roof of my mouth. Uh, but they, they laugh whether they think it's funny or not. They're very, <laughs> they're very generous people. They're real supportive. And, and of course, you're, you're the youngest. And what time, what, uh, how old were you when your hair went gray? Probably... Uh, <laughs> Uh, 
This is a long way to come to be in solitude. <laughs> uh, about late 20s. Late 20s. And did you ever have a, did you ever say, oh, I'm, I'm in show business, I better, I better Never put the Never bothered me. I, I mean, I'm as vain as anybody else. I'm not claiming any uh, protection from that, uh, from ego. But it never bothered me. Hmm. I, I, you know, maybe it should have, but, but it, it never did. No, no, I don't think it should no. be. No, some guy introduced me as a six-foot Q-tip once. <laughs> oh, 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 that's awful. That's awful. Well, who are, your, who are your friends, Phil, when you have some free time? When you're not on the road, who do you, who do you hang out with? Well, we have a pack of uh, folks we run with in New York, uh, including uh, people uh, in theater. Marlowe was on Broadway all last uh, summer. Uh, which got me into the Broadway Show League, which is why I'm out here trying oh, yeah. to show off and uh, act my age. Uh, I swung at one pitch tonight. I missed it, and I think I hurt myself. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, mostly, I would say, Broadway people and also uh, uh, movie people, since Marlowe's very well connected to that uh, crowd. I don't, I hate to mention, I don't want to, you know, these are pals, and I don't want to come to Seattle. Because then, yeah. you know, then... Just, just one. I'll just tell one. you. Listen, just one. your best friend. All right, it's not my yeah. best friend, but right. I have actually met Warren Beatty. Oh. oh. He's very short. <laughs> uh, I, I know you have to go, but I wanted to thank you very much. Well, for I being thank here. you for the invite. Ross, Bill Donahue. Thank you very much. We'll be right back. <laughs>